What is going on guys, my name is The Benster and welcome to part 3 of our Gary's Mod Tool tutorial series. In this episode we're going to be looking at the Elastic Tool. So this is quite similar, there's a few more options here but it's, once you break it down it's really quite simple. So what we need to do first is get a static object, so I'm going to use this blue barrel here. Let's put it in the air and freeze it so it acts like a static object. We'll also get another barrel, freeze it next to it and we'll use these two as the Elastic put the elastic in between. So the first option we've got here is elasticity. The strength of the elastic, the higher this number is, the tougher the elastic will be. So if you have it on zero, I'll show you like this. It doesn't do anything when you let go because there's no elasticity to it. So it just acts like a rope that gets longer or shorter as you move it to and fro. I don't that might be useful for some people but if you're using elastic it wouldn't be that useful. So if you put it on four thousand see the other side of it and then you click on them both and then you pull it away from your static object and then when you let it go it will ping back towards it acting like sort of an elastic band would if you had something and you let it go it springs back it's fairly simple so that's that the dampening the damping sorry is the higher this number is the less bounce your elastic will have so I had it on zero see so as you saw I let it go it bounced around a lot so if you put that straight up to 50 like that, you'll notice it doesn't bounce around quite as much when you let it go. So it just sort of, it does. I mean, I still think it bounces around a lot, but I don't know. I suppose that option's there to make it less bouncy, but it, it doesn't seem to make that much difference to me. Um, relative dampening. I've fiddled around with this, and I don't know what it does at all. It says pretty much pretty much the same as above. I'm sure there's a good reason for there being two options, but I don't know what it does. So I would just leave that at zero. Um, the other option here is a checkbox for stretch only. Now, if this isn't enabled, then the last the elastic acts like a spring. It will push the objects away as they move closer to. So I didn't have it checked. So when I let it go, if I show you what I was doing it before, you might notice it kind of it contracts to bring it closer, and then it repels it away as well, like that. See, it springs away too. But if you un if you check this box it'll only do the stretch, it won't pull it pull it to, so you only get one of the bounce sort of things. See? So it, it stops a lot quicker. I mean, it's, you still get some bounce back obviously, but it's, it's not quite as severe because it only stretches rather than repels. Um, and then obviously this bottom one is something really simple, it's just whatever you want your rope to be. So you've got like a laser here, cable, normal rope, electric, X-beam, um, physics beam and Hydra, it's that's pretty much very like preference and depending on what you're building. Um, I like the blue one. I don't don't ask me why, but I think that one looks quite cool, sort of the electric. And you can also make it thicker or wider, again depending on what your purpose is. It's just that's very much dependent, but it it has no effect on it effectively. So you can change the material to whatever you want it to be. It'll still do the exact same thing. It'll still act the same. I think you would use this mostly for sort of building a slingshot, things like that. So you could put two quite far away, and then if you spawn in the third one, and you put your elastic from that one to that one, and that one to that one, and then you can pull it back, things like this, and let it go, and it'll fire. If you had that as a bucket, it might let go of you like a ball or something like that. But that's pretty much all you can do with the elastic tool. So thank you all so much for watching, join in for part 4 we'll be looking at the hydraulic tool and everything that that can do. So like the video if you enjoyed, uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.